Well, the sun's going down on a beautiful day in October, October 24th in Wisconsin. And uh, this is another episode of Let's Turn This Box Truck Into an RV. So come on, let's get on with it. All right, I've got the uh, RV pulled out today. And I decided to put a fan in to ventilate this hot box. So, you know, I found the perfect spot for the fan too going to be hidden inside of this microwave oven cabinet and I got quite a mess going here and I better see if I can turn the stereo down all right so I cut a hole in the roof I really didn't want to cut any holes in the roof but uh, you know one hole uh, I guess I can seal it up and hope it stays stays sealed so I cut a hole in the roof today for a 14 inch I was going to get a fantastic fan. If you've been watching this, at one time I had a fantastic fan. But uh, I ended up getting a Max Air fan. And it's a really basic fan. It's uh, about the cheapest Max Air makes. It was 120 bucks or so. But, you know, the other models have some fancy features that I just don't think I need. And maybe I can just add them to this fan. We'll see. Like uh, reversing and remote control. So I'm hoping to get the controls down here with the rest of the controls rather than have to open up a cabinet door and get at it. So speaking of opening up the cabinet door, this cabinet is going to have vents on either side, vent holes that are very uh, unobtrusive. So all said and done, you won't even see this stupid RV vent. If you remember, I'm trying to make this the least look like an RV and the most look like a home as possible. So it's got an RV vent. But it's hidden so I cut this out and I fitted in a piece of 2x4 here that I carefully ripped down to fit as you can see and there's another one I fit in here and there's another one I fit in over here the cabinets gonna come out just to about here so this really uh, is just barely gonna fit on the front in fact I've got this trim ring that goes in and I'll most likely have to trim the trim ring <laughs> To fit in here so that uh, the cabinet will fit as well uh, and another thing well you know I ran into some wires here these wires come right across but you know so what this whole thing is going to be hidden and I think I can get away with it and the fan sits down here sits high enough that it doesn't interfere with the wires and having a little air blow over the wires well what can I say okay let's go outside take you around top Been working up here you can see my hole you can see I've got the two by fours fitted in here it's all framed out nicely uh, I still need to trim my tape back a little bit here and this is the max air fan that I bought really simple on off well it's got three or four speeds and it's a crank so no fancy automatic business and it fits in just like so so I'm about ready to seal this thing down. I'm like I can get it in before it's too dark this evening, but I'm pretty much ready to put this guy in. I'm going to clean this up around the edge here, and I've got some of this, oh, what do they call it, uh, Dicor tape left over from the door, and I've got some of this wonderful Ball Dude light lap sealant that everybody uses. It's uh, non-leveling. Oh, well... I don't know what the difference is. Anyways, I'm going to use this to seal up around the perimeter and seal up the uh, screw holes. And uh, that's the excitement for today. Until next time.